Oh, go on, my people. Oh, go on, oh, go on. After last night, excitement, you know, and pot cover beating, you know. Yeah, man. It not done yet. The pot cover not done yet. You see me, I say? But people, please remember to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate you being here. So what we want to talk about is the men's semi-final. This one is hot. This one is... Hey, you know, things the last night did hot. You know, things the last night did hot. Watch what go on tonight. Watch what go on in the final and the semi-final. But I'm telling you what go on in the semi-finals first because, listen, the semi-final, they set away. They are mouth-watering. You understand? So guess what? You are going in the semi-finals. So you have two semi-finals. And they are going to be choosing the top, 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 top. I think it's the top three and best two on time. Right? So let's delve in it a little bit closer. Let's look at semi-final one because this is going to be very intriguing. Yeah? You see what transpired last night? evening it was epic running and some people they are absolutely shaking in their spikes they are shaking on their sofa watching the national trials some are watching it on their phones because they are at their trials and they want to know what is happening so they keep abreast camera may i beg you please focus this is serious thing we're going to talk about so we don't want to blurry thing i go on there so Focus camera. Seeing? All right. So let's jump into semi final one because one Sachin Dennis of the elite performance with a massive PB 10.04 in his heat last evening. He'll be going up against Nigel Ellis, his teammate. 10.13. Can these two crack into the top three? It's going to be very difficult, but I do believe that if they can squeeze in their first sub 10 then it will be absolutely amazing for them Raheem ford he ran 10.02 in the prelims and i tell you Raheem ford looks powerful he looks easy he looks confident he looks smooth going through that first round so Raheem ford has a very good chance of make it into the final of this 100 meter that is absolutely uh shaping up to be a phenomenal one wow so let's look at akim blake he ran 995 a lot of people doubt akim blake a lot of people believe that he won't be making the team however he worked on his start he worked on the start jitters that he has been having and he clocked a time of 9.95 seconds one of the sub 10 clockings of the night yeah and we look forward to akim going into this one very confidently kj and goldson of sprint tech 10.12 yes he goes in he, he ran with um raheem ford and it was a very good run from him as well. He, was, he just cruised to ensure that he qualified from the first round. But the big man in town, yeah, man, the man that shook the place last evening, only never feel earthquake. Yeah, only never feel it. Only stop it because only you guys felt it. You people up north felt the shaking when Kishane Thompson flew out the blocks and starts to hit that ground with the force that he generates that will propel him forward quickly to the finish line you guys are quaking in your boots because kishane is going to be running again and you are in so much turmoil at this moment to know that oh my god jamaica has returned Mm, very interesting days ahead but i do believe that kishane thompson with that 982 that looks so easy in the first round i believe that he's going to ensure that he goes out there again and qualify he has to get in that in that top three and i do believe that's what his coach and himself will be working on going into the semi-final absolutely fantastic sprinting 
from Kishan Thompson. Also, we look at Jelani Walkup. He ran 10 to 1. He can also make it into the finals. Uh, Sanjay Davis, a massive PB, Sanjay. Big up yourself, Sanjay. I don't know you come from a place, you understand? So we have a big you up. You get to me and say, big up, Sanjay. Massive PB, 10 seconds flat. Looking to go sub 10. Sanjay, if you want to make it in the finals with this tact feel, you have to produce another PB. And I do believe you have it in you. You got off to a very good start in your first eat. And I do believe that you can do it, my son. So look out for that first eat. Who do you think will be coming out of this first eat? Talk to me, no man. Drop your comment in the comment section. All right, make a flip over to heat two. E2 is another one. Oh my word. Oh my word. Oh my word. Jazil Murphy. This is very interesting. Jazil Murphy running 10 1 1. Awesome running there from Jazil Murphy. Jazil Murphy is defying all odds. And people are starting to believe in the dynamics track club. Yeah, dynamic speed because it's working over there. And Travis Williams, big up yourself, Travis from University of Southern uh, California, 10.13, massive run from him there. Can he make it into the final? Of course, he has a very good chance of making it in, into the final. Brian Level produced another PB, optimal performance track club. Shaniki Osborne, 10.07. Can he go sub 10 and go into the finals? Of course, I do believe he can. Rowan Watson, MVP. Season best of 10.07. Good run there from uh, 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 Rowan Watson. Hmm. Julian Ford. He has been having a superb season so far. And I do believe that Julian Ford stands a very good chance of winning this one. He ran 10 seconds flat easily. Julian Ford has the ability to go 10, sub 10 seconds. I do believe it. And we, he has to do that. He had to produce that <clears throat> in this semi-final too if he wants to make it to the final. Oblique Seville, the man that jogged 9.8, 9.98 9 seconds. The man, Oblique Seville, Oville, otherwise known as. The man will make people take pressure pill. Well, this season... You're in for a treat because oblique civil and the civilians are ready and they are waiting because he will produce and get himself into the final. Taekwondo Tracy, very good run from him, season best. 10.10 seconds, absolutely good run from um, Taekwondo Tracy. He got off to a very good start. It was for him just to hold and maintain, but he has to produce a very good clock in in this semi-final if he wants to make it into the final jelani garden 10.09 another good run from a university of georgia i do believe that this heat is a very good one but the first heat i do think will carry the and the most when it comes on to a fast clocking we might get five out of semi-final one what say you until next time my people look out and you know before i end this video if you read this far i must say congratulations to boaje and Krume on a very good um you know first run trying to make the olympic team he didn't make it but hats off to him for a brilliant brilliant effort also i want to congratulate Johan blake for all that he has done for the nation where sprinting is concerned Congratulations, Johan Blake. You did the country proud throughout the years. And it, it is sad to know that you will not be making this it to this uh, Olympic Games that you worked so hard to go. But that's the nature of sports. Until next time, peace out.